Hey everybody, Anne here, and I have been tagged on a van life thing. <laughs> I got tagged from Hobbies and Gadgets. I'll put a link to his channel down below. And the tag is uh, 10 questions about van life. So um, I hope this lighting is good enough. I'm going to go ahead and try and tackle them right now. So number one, what is the make and model of your van? It is a 1996 Ford E350 XLT. Um, it's a 300 i6 four point I think 4.7 liter maybe um, yeah so it's an old van um, how long did your van build take well um, my van build is kind of a ghetto van build you can't really see it but um, it's it's I, I don't have cabinetry or anything like that I mean I just got some cabinets and got a piece of wood and put them over the top of it I got a table with stuff underneath of it um, the only thing I really built was my bed and um, I, I mean, seriously, well, if you count, if you count the um, taking off the stickers, because there was about a gazillion stickers. If any of you who've been following me from the beginning know that I had a gazillion stickers on the outside of this van. Um, I would say, really, honestly, a couple weeks. I mean, I didn't work on it straight through. Um, most of it was just getting things arranged. So um, it really didn't take me very long. Alrighty, uh, where has been your favorite place to stay in your van? My favorite place so far has been the Daniel Boone National Forest. I stayed there for a couple of weeks. It was just such a wonderful adventure for me, and it was the first time after I decided to leave Ohio for good. Um, my first adventure, and I stayed in the dispersed camping, and it was just awesome. All right, uh, number four, where has been the worst place? Well, as a lot of you know, I bought some land in Tennessee, and I love parking on it. I love parking on it when it's dry, but it is the absolute worst place to park when it rains because I can't get off a lot. It's Tennessee clay mud, and I mean, it is just slimy and... So, yeah, <laughs> on my own property for right now until I can get it developed, get some gravel out there, it's going to be kind of rough. So, I bet you were going to say Walmart. No, nope, <laughs> it is not Walmart. I don't mind staying at Walmart, really, I don't. All right, uh, let's see, how many people have you had in your van at one time? Well, really, I haven't had a lot of people in here. I think the most that have been here inside the van at once has been two humans. But otherwise, it's just been me and my dog. Uh, let's see. Have you had any van disasters? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when I first got down here to Tennessee, and I thought the transmission just took a dump on me, but it just turned out to be the transmission line. And it's been repaired, but I freaked out because I didn't have, you know, any extra money, really, to fix it. And if it was a, a transmission... Oh my God, there, there was no way. And I did a video on it. It's uh, you know, real van life peril and I was crying. And I cry a lot. Um, but everything's going okay now. Alrighty. Um, what is your favorite feature of your van? I would have to say my bed because it is a bed, it is a couch, it is an eight inch memory foam mattress and it is across the back of the van and um, I can stretch out all the way. I built it myself out of a um, really thick desk top that I removed from the desk and just put four little legs on it and uh, it just fits back in here and it is so comfortable. I love hanging out back here. So yeah, my bed. Uh, number eight, what is your least favorite part about van life? I think, hmm, I don't know. I can't think of anything really that I don't like about van life. I mean, I I love van life. The least favorite thing. Oh, having to dump the porta potty. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't care for that much, but that's not that big of a deal. Okay. Um 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 um. Least favorite. What is your favorite feature? Okay, I already did that one. Number nine, what is your favorite part about van life? I think, 
huh, there's so many things. Um, the most favorite is just the freedom. Just the freedom of being able to pick up and go anywhere. If something were to happen here in Tennessee, I've got my house and everything with me. I can just pick up and go and, um, you know, it's just freedom. Freedom and and I love the little tiny space. I, I must have been a wolf in a past life because it's like my little den. I feel safer here than I have anywhere else. Doesn't matter where I park. I feel safer when I'm inside this van. All right, 10. Any tips for those about to embark on their van life adventures? Yeah, I've already kind of said that um, in another video. Have a little extra money. If you're gonna buy, if you're going to buy an older van like mine, have a couple thousand dollars extra because you are going to be repairing one thing after another. Um, so have a have a little bit of extra money. Um, I'll either that or get a really you know a newer van. I gotta change hands. My hands, this hands hurting me. Um, either that or get a newer van and just spend more money on the van up front. You know, you're still going to want to have, you know, at least a thousand reserve. I don't know. Um, but other than that, you know, I know a lot of people say, oh, you got to have solar. You got to have this. You got to have that. I have realized that I need very, very little. Um, this van, you know, I mean, I have solar. Um, I don't have it installed on top of the roof. I just put it out when I need to charge my batteries. Um, and I have found that that's sufficient. Uh, so far and I've been able to keep things charged up and running relatively well the only thing is heat in the winter this is my first winter in the van and it gets cold so I've had a neighbor that lives next door to my property and she lets me hook up to her electricity with some um, so I can keep a little heater going um, so yeah definitely think through how you're going to heat and cool your van so you can be comfortable sleeping um, because that's the big issue, sleeping. I mean, when it's during the day and you're out doing things, or me, I'm door dashing, or, you know, gallivanting or whatever, um, that's not such a big deal. But when you're sleeping, you, you need to be comfortable. So either have, you know, really, really bundle up when it's cold, or, you know, find a way to have enough power to heat your van. Now, I do have a buddy heater. I, um, when I'm not on the lot, when I'm not on my property, I have this buddy heater now and um, I'll just use it, you know, periodically. I have found that I don't need to use any heat unless it gets below freezing. If it gets below freezing, then it's really, really hard to sleep because it just gets really cold. Even with Betty snuggled up next to me. Where is she? She's, she's over here somewhere. Oh, you probably can't see her. It's too dark. Anyhow, yeah, so have a little extra money. Make sure you know what your energy needs are and what your comfort level is and what you will need to make yourself comfortable. Um, and really, sometimes you're not going to know until you get out there and just start doing it yourself. But um, you don't need a big elaborate van build. You don't need cabinets. You don't need fancy stuff. I don't. I mean, I've got fabric on my walls. You can't really see. Um, and that's, that's, I mean, I've got the Reflectix and some insulation in the walls and whatnot but to cover all that up I've just got these fabric shower curtains that I hung up on the wall and I use a lot of magnets um, but anyhow I'm rambling so yeah have a little extra money make sure you have a good vehicle and um, know what your energy needs are gonna be um, and so yep that's it and I'm going to have to think about who I am going to nominate, who I'm going to tag. So, hmm, let me think about that and I will get back with ya. Okay, I have decided on who I want to nominate. And the first one is Ghetto Van Adventures. I love this guy. He just does all kinds of cool stuff. Um, really smart guy. He does food reviews. And um, I don't know that he lives full time in his van, but he does a lot of stuff in his van. Um, and he parks at the Walmarts and parks at various other places too. So, Ghetto Van Adventures, I tag you. Uh, the next one is, well, you know what? She had another van that she had built out and she had, she's not living in it, but she does a lot of adventures in it, or she used to. 
but it went kaput so she, now she's got a Jeep and I think she's going to be building that out but she does know about van life and what it takes to build one and um, you know camping adventures and stuff like that so finding joy through serving hi Francie you are my next one and this one this next one big Tom's van he is new to me and um, I think he just started following me so I don't know if he's gonna be watching this or not to tell you the truth but I'll find hopefully he does because he's tagged so hopefully at least one person that I nominate will do it so big Tom's van um, I nominate you I will put the links to their channels below and I hope you check them all out and this has been fun so hopefully at least one of my tags will will you know pass this on anyhow that's all I got for you I'll see you in the next video yeah thanks for watching everybody I hope you enjoyed the video make sure you like subscribe hit the bell and y'all have a good one